if you ever wanted to hook up, you know, a subwoofer, or some mids and highs, maybe an EQ, maybe a crossover, maybe multiple amps to your factory radio. Well, today I'm going to go ahead and show you what it takes, uh, products that you can buy at a very, very low price to make all that happen to your factory radio. Nothing is more relaxing, man, than having a little bit of bass, a little bit of uh, vocal, you know, playing at a high volume, you know, enjoying your day. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install those products in and, you know, techniques and tips on how to get that done. But before we get started, man, thanks a lot, everybody, for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, man, do so right now. Uh, it is almost December, man. We got one full month to try to get to the big 5k, man. That was my year goal. If we can get to 5k, man, that, that opens so many doors for us to get stuff done. Um, so go ahead and hit subscribe if you like car audio video. If you want full car content, go to Mousetrap TV. Uh, link will be in the description of the video. Uh, man, subscribe for your boy. We're trying to get that thing to 1k subscribers as well, too. And here shortly, I'm gonna do a channel just for YouTube shorts, man. So we're gonna have three channels total, man. Support your boy if you like the videos if you like the content man make sure to subscribe but for now man let's talk about how to hook up uh, amps crossover subwoofers to your factory radio man let's get it so you want to spice up your factory sound system a little bit man by adding some subwoofers an extra amp for your mids and highs maybe replace some mids and highs but you still need to start from somewhere and get sound to those amps I'm gonna talk about what I did for my sound system I'm pretty sure there's other ways and other products to use um, you know everybody you know has their preference on how to do stuff and what products they want for themselves or for their budget but today I'm gonna show you a good rather low price budget to go ahead and get go ahead and get signal from your factory sound system to your aftermarket amps you have your factory radio um, more than likely on these newer cars they have a factory amp but you know you can still get to speakers to get signal from because obviously from the radio it goes to uh, an imaginary amp if it has one um, then it goes to the speakers or vice versa it could go uh, radios directly to the speakers um, either way is fine you just have to know how to tap in to get signal in my case i actually went to my top uh, dash speaker to get signal from you guys are car audio guys you know that the dash speakers are always the vocal uh signal you know um those play more of a vocal range than a low range this fills in that gap that's uh lower end but obviously the top uh, dash speaker is always going to be the vocal that you want to tap in and get signal from to go ahead and put to your um line out converter to send signal back to your amp but so once you actually find signal or know where to go to uh, you're going to need to put a product in uh, inline converter uh, to go ahead and get signal from your factory sound system to your amps and the product that you're going to have to use um, you know there's plenty of products out there audio control makes the LC pieces um, I know that kicker makes one maybe JL makes one um, so many different brands make them but the one that I use and that I've always used for many years and I feel that each year they improve them uh, and it, the, it's what's in my truck right now as well too and my truck definitely bangs I use the Skosh LOC. It's an amplifier add-on adapter uh, And you can pick these up at Walmart or any of your uh, local automotive stores. Uh, it comes with a switch or a remote I mean and What's cool about these is they provide they provide a remote out with speaker sensing. You see what I'm saying? I've used these for many installs man. That's what's in my truck right now and def and let me tell you like it it hasn't let me done down whenever I install these so I know it won't let you down man just as long as you find the right signal it's gonna work front dash speaker that's the signal that we're trying to get into so basically we'll just pretend you take this guy out and we'll pretend that this is our front dash speaker that we're gonna get signal from okay so let's pretend this is our front um, dash speaker and this is the speaker wire that's going into the speaker uh, whether this speaker wire is coming from your factory radio or coming from your factory amp man It is still signal going inside the speaker to make it play music. So this speaker right here is going to be your signal um, This is what you need to feed into your LOC so it can play music uh, and convert that speaker wire into RCA signal Basically what you're going to want to do is when you find your speaker wire that's attached to your speaker man go ahead and cut it at a reasonable spot so you at least have enough slack so if it, the truck ever wants to go back to factory and connect that speaker wire up um, it's it's factory right off the bat so you go ahead and cut it after you cut it you want the 
speaker wire that's going into the truck as your signal. You want to save that guy. Um, this guy you may want to just cap it off, tape it up, and zip tie it up somewhere if you have enough space. But this is what you want right here. So once you have the speaker wire that's going into the truck, you want to go ahead and get that guy, um, splice it open, and you can attach it to the, if it's the right side, attach it to the right side of the speaker wire. Um, coming out from the LOC, put some ends on it, or you know, some solder if you want to go ahead and solder, and find a positive and negative on that side of it. Man, go ahead and connect it, and you know, vice versa. You can do the same for the other side too. Take that speaker out, get the speaker wire, cut it, um, and a connector in. But you may have to run a speaker wire from one end to the other, so it'll be able to connect. Um, but you know, you just find the negative side of your speaker uh, output on the LOC, connect it to the negative side of the speaker uh, signal. Same thing with the positive go ahead and connect it and now you have signal now you basically have connected uh, music sound going into the LOC and then convert it out to RCA's so have made a remote out so you can go into your amps or crossovers and stuff like that but you will need to do um, a relay on that guy to boost the power back up because it's probably uh, just simple remote wire and if you're gonna hook up multiple uh, accessories up to a remote wire I man definitely do a relay so once you connect signal into uh, your LOC, you want to have to do uh, power and ground. You can pretty much get that from your cigarette lighter or if you want to be uh, really awesome right off the bat, man, run a power and ground from your battery and man, you're going to have the best signal uh, voltage-wise and signal-wise to make this thing work really bomb. Now we have an RCA out, but we want to connect an EQ, maybe a crossover, uh, maybe two amps, uh, one for mids and highs and one for bass. Um, and this is how we go in order. After we got our uh, signal in, uh, we got RCA signal out uh, for our sound system. Uh, we go ahead and we run an RCA and the very first thing if you want to connect an EQ, boom, the RCA has to go connected into the input of the EQ because we need to go ahead and feed music in so we're able to feed music out. Ground EQ has a subwoofer volume and a regular volume so that means it has subwoofer out and you know front and right. Um, out as well too or front and rear out as well too. Now this actually converts into um, another RCA out. So now on the EQ we have uh, front one RCA set, rear another RCA set, and a sub another RCA set. So now we have three RCA sets that we can run to our next product that we want to install in our car and say that product is a crossover let's go ahead and show you how to do that depending what type of crossover you get um, you probably just need to run one RCA for signal in and a subwoofer for your signal uh, for your subwoofer in on the crossover as well too because you know from crossover there are another three RCA's that go ran into the amps but what you always want to do is just man run that extra cross uh, that extra RCA run that extra RCA um, just so in the future if you want to take that crossover out and just go directly into the amps man your RCAs are already there ready to rock and roll for you man you don't have to waste no time uh, spend uh, extra money along the road um, after that and the RCA is there and is ready so in this case we only need to run two RCAs which is the front uh, out on the EQ and the sub out on the EQ uh, man attach those uh, with an imaginary RCA along with it and then you run those to the back and then after that we're going to use my PRV crossover as an example PRV crossover you just really need to connect uh, front end and your sub end my sub input I actually ran directly to the base doubler uh, but we're going to get into that right now so I just ran uh, front end on my EQ and then here I can run from out you know you see a high out and a mid out but basically we'll just say front and rear you see what I'm saying so now after here these RCA's can go directly into my amps. Say this is the rear amp, you know, we just come out from our rear and bam, it's in there. Now this amp's ready to get adjusted and playing. Uh, if you have another amp for mids and highs, man, run that RCA to that guy and then that's connected. And if you had a uh, sub in, you can come sub out into your sub amp and that is it. You got signal ready to rock and roll, then you have to worry about your powers and stuff like that. But RCA, it is done. You have a, a epicenter or a, you know, bass synthesizer, I think that's what they call it, that you want to connect to it. Uh, but you don't want to go to the crossover you can just go ahead and go directly to that bass synthesizer so with doing that you're gonna have to go from your sub out from the eq going in to your epicenter bass doubler or bass synthesizer uh, going in and out from the synthesizer going in to your sub app and then you'll have signal uh, flowing through uh, and doing what you want it to do once you have everything connected all the rcas your power everything you should have sound like this <laughs> 
Dummy. A few moments later. And just like that, man, you can keep your factory radio and still connect multiple amps, crossovers, EQs to them. Um, I just showed you how to get signal, what to use to get signal, uh, how everything should come in line to get connected with the RCAs wise. And now uh, with all that information, you know, put your hands into it, uh, give it a try, and then you're gonna figure out your own answer on how to connect the signal, but I just laid the foundation out for you guys. So I hope this video was useful useful for you guys, the ones that wanna connect some uh, amps, crossovers, EQs to your factory system. Uh, man, if you didn't really get it, man, just rewatch the video um, and understand a little bit better, um, then you know you get your hands on it. And with all that stuff, now you can go ahead and connect the sound system to your factory radio on your own. Watching today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 5K by the end of the year. Um, and subscribe to Mousetrap TV. Uh, link will be in the description of the video. It is all car channel, man. All kinds of stuff's on there, man. Subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. Man, we're gonna get back to building here probably in a day or two. Um, but with that being said, man, have have a, rest, a good rest of the day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.